hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Naima. if you're new welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so today i'll be talking about how to move on from your divorce it's either you're going through a divorce presently currently or you are about going for a divorce so the thing is the world the society would definitely shame you for being a divorcee or for leaving your marriage but you alone know what you went through that marriage and the reasons why you decided to leave that marriage i i don't think a sensible person would leave um a working marriage a, a a peaceful marriage a good marriage whether it's a man or a woman so you alone know what you were going through or is going through and you decided to opt for divorce one point i'd like to make it clear to you is you need to accept the fact that you are a divorcee you need to accept the fact that you are divorced even if there is friendship there is still friendship between you and your ex-husband or your ex-wife you need to accept it that he is no longer your wife sorry he's no longer your husband and you are no longer his wife and vice versa you need to accept it and come um to terms with the fact that i am no no longer married to this man we shared the same bed we shared um bathroom we had an intimacy we there were, there were a lot of good things but he is no longer my husband i think if you can accept that and do not live in denial because most people tend to live in denial with the fact that we may still go back yes it is possible but what's the percentage of possibility that you guys will still go back so you need to accept it first that you are a divorcee and being a divorcee is not a cause the fact that you had a failed marriage does not define you otherwise you just get stuck with that mindset of you're married to him which will actually stop you from meeting the right man or the good man or meeting the next man next one is do not be a people pleaser because let me tell you this thing uh, a lot of people will come to you and be like go back to your husband go back to your wife make it work make their marriage work i believe for one to opt for divorce then they must have actually put in a lot of effort to see their marriage work it wasn't just working out people would actually come and tell you to go back to your husband go back to your wife they would want to ridicule what you think or they want to ridicule they want to make you feel like your decision was not the best <laughs> that is just the truth they would come to you with i don't think that is enough reason for you to leave that marriage he is cheating and so every man cheats so that is not enough reason for you to leave your marriage he beats you and so what are you doing that is making him beat you you should stop it that is not enough reason for you to leave your marriage that is just it people would definitely come to you with unsolicited advices or advice it is now left for you to decide and know if yes you really left because it wasn't working you need to stop being a people pleaser because if you want to keep pleasing people you will keep going back to that marriage leaving coming back going back leaving. the next point is you also need to accept the fact that god has better plans for you i have seen a lot of people leave mar their marriage and end up with the best men end up with the best spouse end up with the best wife end up with the best in-laws i have seen a lot of people i have experienced it i have seen it nobody say they say they say they say i just that's actually i have actually experienced it people left their marriage and ended up with the best man or one of the best men you would ever meet in this world it will happen you need to accept it that allah has better plans for you you need to accept it that after difficulty comes ease i think that alone would make your divorce process easy for you will make when you you deep down you know allah has better plans for you you would not let what people have to say about your marriage or about your life get to you because after all allah has better plans for me which the they are not aware of my next very important point is you need to have a mind of your own do not allow people decide for you what you want in your life like i have like i have said you need to have a mind of your own you need to take decisions because you feel those decisions are best for you and not because okay so so person said i should do it like this if you give if you give people that chance to decide for you what you should do in your life then trust me you would continue 
like you, you it has to continue that way because it will get to a point where you cannot even make the the, 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 the littlest decision for yourself in your life you would have to ask somebody to make that decision for you or you have to ask somebody to tell you what to do because you have been doing it for bigger issues this small one it will still they will still help you do it that is the plain truth you need to have a mind of your own people will come and tell you that you need a man of in your life you need a wife in your life you need that man that man is a good man that man is a bad man and the honest thing is most spouses that are bad people tend to see them as good people outside that is just the truth so that will make everything more complex and more difficult for you to accept you see your spouse you know your spouse you lived with him you know a lot of things that his mom does not even know his siblings do not even know his friends do not even know but you as a spouse you as a wife you know them but those people would they don't know what you don't they don't know what you know hence why they would always ask you to go back to that man because obviously he comes out spends time with people um smile what the, the only part they see is the good part and uh, they don't get to see the, the his anger part or when he's angry or when, when he's sad or when he's emotional they don't get to see that part you alone get to see it because you are his wife you live with him in the house so they would always ask you to go back to your husband or go back to your wife or take your wife back or take your husband back it is now left for you to have a mind of your own and decide if you want to go back or if you feel the marriage is still something you both can work on and then go back but if you know deep down you've done all the working all the work and it's still not working and you've made up your mind please do not go back because people advised you to go back you need to heal you need to heal if it is possible see a therapist you need to heal you need to accept the fact that you are divorced and it is not going to be easy cry when you want to cry cry nobody is don't think you have a strong mind is a lie don't cry when you want to cry talk to someone like for me if i am in a bad time and I, it is it is it is getting to me this lady the, the next thing i do is i talk to someone i just rant i i just basically rant i just talk i tell you what is in my mind and what is bothering me and trust me after some minutes i just feel relieved no matter how we we'll try to paint it you need to heal there is something called ptsd post trauma syndrome disease or something <laughs> disorder ptsd like flashbacks of what had happened the trauma you just get this kind of panic whenever as in you can just be sitting and just get this maybe panic attack should i call it panic panic attack because you've subconsciously thought of what you had went through or you just thought of okay what i had gone through making no call happen again so you just have this subconscious attack i don't know if you get what i mean it exists it happens you need to heal you need to allow yourself heal you need to allow accept the fact that yes i am divorced and so what that me one start time <laughs> my body the one start i don't know if my body the one my body the one end up so why should i now allow my own be different you need to look at the positive um the positive result of other people there are still negative it just depends on what you allow your mind consume there are still a lot of negative results um um, um 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 feedbacks or results from people that they will say okay i married the first man married the second man they were all still trash they were taught for they were trash there are still people like that but it is not left for you to decide what you want for yourself whether you want the positive or the negative accept it that yes i am a wounded heart i have a wounded heart and i want to heal when it is time for you to cry please cry it out you want to talk to someone please don't waste time talk to that person you want to to eat because for me whenever i'm going through a lot i tend to eat more i don't know what they call it but i tend to eat more if you want to do it do it if you want to exercise exercise just do anything that you know is in line with your religion that would make you happy just for you to heal faster and easier my next point is you need to be open-minded you need to understand that true love exists you need to understand that there is love there are people that they give love like water take they give love that like water and you should also be um ready to accept their love and also give back to them do not let what had happened in your past marriage affect your present relationship you need to be open-minded in the sense that you are ready to go into another relationship you're ready to try the next relationship if it doesn't work you move to the third relationship if it doesn't work you move to the fourth relationship there is nowhere it is written that your first marriage has to be your last marriage or your first relationship has to be your last relationship i think most of us get it wrong at that um 
in that side we, we 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 don't want to have a failed marriage um we don't have want to have a failed relationship even relationships that are not yet that have not got into the stage of marriage you're actually scared of losing that relationship well because of what people would say you it is never written anywhere that your first relationship has to be your last relationship try other things try other people there are a lot of there are billions of people in this world try them you would see you find a, you would find love one day one day <laughs> except god has written it that love is not for you which is also normal which is also okay life is not as difficult as we try to make it be if we can actually follow what god says eh, i tell you life is not as difficult as we portray it to be be open-minded be ready to go into other relationships be ready to to explore be ready to 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 improve on yourself be ready to don't say because my marriage field i want to leave my work my marriage field i want to stop my business my marriage field i want to to to, to sell my car why because the marriage field you want to sell your car eh? you can imagine instead try to better your life Try to see how you can improve on yourself. Check yourself. Was I wrong? Was there any part in my marriage that I should have done better? Was there any part I shouldn't have done? Do you get? Just try and check yourself and work on yourself. We are, we are, we are work in progress. Like I said in one of my videos, presently I am a raw material that needs to be processed. I am in the process of processing myself into a finished product that 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 becomes priceless that becomes what people would 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 spend their last um cobble on purchasing do you get what i mean more like a goal the goal that we, we, we are fighting for today did not just become good like that they were once dirty they had to go through the fire they had to go to sand dirty just to become invaluable asset we fight for today so i tell myself that i am a raw material presently that no matter the mistake i make at this point is does not define me you should not actually allow your failed marriage or um because you're a divorcee get to you you not stop your life my sister or my brother it doesn't work that way as for me i don't know for other people i don't know how to i am not good with sweat i try as much as i can to actually be good with sweat but for me i am this person that i don't allow my bad times pull me down if you know me i don't allow my bad times pull me down i can be going through a lot and still motivate other people that is just me i try to learn from my mistakes i try to pick one or two from my mistakes and do better in my next step that is how it should be and not because okay because you failed in school because you failed this course because you feel that i am now dropping out what about the four years that you've spent reading what about the four years that you've spent without carryovers are you going to forfeit them just because of a one semester that you had one carryover do you get what i mean what about other years that you you, you you've, you've put in a lot of work and it actually yielded good result so if you have this kind of mindset, I believe it will be an easier or way more easier um, um, road for you to pass through in life. My next one is do not be there sulking your pillow, crying on your pillow. Like I've said, if you want to cry, cry. There is time for everything. Like me, as I am crying, I am feeding my fish. <laughs> as i am crying i am feeding my fish as i am crying i am thinking of a youtube video idea as i am crying i am thinking of how to go back to school as i am crying i am thinking of how to get my nails done that is just me i will not cry and still remain in that position i would cry now you'll see me cry now in the next two three four minutes i have moved on i have i, I am already thinking of how to go feed my fish my next one is get busy i've said this before but get busy start a business go for that job interviews travel around try new things learn new skills get your mind busy get yourself busy go for that program that two months program three months program even if it is an ngo just join just join and just partake in something some activities so that you can get your mind busy so that you can you will not just sit one place and be thinking i left my mind. no move on don't be surprised that is you that you yeah you have been shying away from going you will go there now and find husband there that will not marry you. you the man will lick your toes lick your legs for marrying him so i don't just know how to explain this 
<laughs> I don't just know how to explain this, but I believe, I think I have more ideas, but I wouldn't want this video to be that long. It's already long because I can stay 20 minutes and I don't want that. So I think I'll make it in part two. I'll still do other, I'll still do a video talking about how to move on from a divorce. This will be part one. That will be part two. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. I actually, I am actually not good with sweat. That is the truth. I'm not, I, mean, I am not good with sweat at all, but I try my best to explain in a layman's language after that is what i know like that's what i can do so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video see you in my next video bye